Hi, this is like Joe Duck from the forums. Uh, today I'm just going to go over a little a few training aids that could aid in your uh, ability to shoot your slingshot. If you're new into shooting slingshots and you just want to try some of your techniques on either get hand positioning or drawing and consistency to increase your consistency. So these are a lot of ball tips and um, you don't have to follow them exactly and a lot of them you have to cater it to your slingshot. So you might have to adapt it a little bit, but this might even spark you to give you ideas on other aids that you can use. Some of these aids I've already talked about in my past videos, so I'll just go real quick. One aid is if, if you're, especially if you're shooting over the top, where the, you're gonna, the bands are either attached here, this way, is to put markings on your fork. It doesn't even have to be permanent. It could be like white out or something. And then this way, this will help when you, you shoot to figure out where you, you need to aim and you keep on practicing that and that's actually this age you could actually leave on there I have this on my my Yosh slingshot and I leave it on there because it, it just helps I mean sometimes I don't really use it but every once in a while when I change my distance I use it to help gauge okay another one with a uh, four member hawk and I discussed a while back and everything through this idea and it's pretty good and that's to to tape, make sure it's straight, to tape a straw on the top of your fork. Now if you shoot through the fork where you wrap, or actually around the fork attachment where you're going to shoot, your bands are actually on top, you're going to have to adjust it somewhere else. And this is um, to aid in making sure that your slingshot is properly aligned when you're holding it because you need proper alignment. Now. If you're fortunate enough <coughs> with over the top, you could actually have it right at the spot that you aim and you could probably look at your target. But the, the premise of it is to, when you're shooting, if you could see straight through the straw, then that means your hands, your hand positioning is right. Because if you go down, you won't be able to look through if you go right or left. So this way, you should be able to see right through it, and that'll help you in constantly getting getting used to holding your hand. Now you don't want to leave, permanently leave it on this. Maybe you do, but this is just until you get used to um, holding your hand. Then it becomes second nature, and you can take the training aid off and just do it constant, you know, periodically, just to make sure you're still doing it right. So that's a pretty neat nifty tip and um, so that's that and all I did was tape it right here. So I want to take this one off, this aid off. Another aid is to assist in your drawing and I talked about this before for these people that are making um, sling rifles and what you do is you tape a paracord over and around and make a loop right in the center. And now this doesn't really work too well when you're shooting through the fork unless your fork forks are higher because you definitely don't want the stick to be in your path. And the premise of this is you have a marking here where you're going to constantly put your hand and you either have a marking or a stopper at the point, the end point of your draw. So at any point you draw, you grab your ammo, you grab this the same way. When you make the draw, you actually have the ammo here. Make sure pace, and you pull, pull back to your stopping point. And then what this does is make sure you have a consistent um, draw, consistent draw length. And what you do. Once you find your, your point, you keep on doing this, and eventually you'll find you'll get familiar with the way your hand feels. And you can take this out and go to that same point. Because once you start doing it, if you have an anchor, you can you just remember the feelings, how your hand feels on your cheek. So if you have a long draw, 
it'll take a, you just have to get used to how f your hand feels when you're pulling back. So that's this one. I mean, you could actually shoot with this if you set it up right with it still in your hand. And um, but this is probably awkward to keep as a permanent permanent aid. Now this recent aid, this is pretty neat, and this is something I'm going to use not just to aid my shooting, but to hold my ammo as well. You'll see on Harbor Freights or somewhere, it's a tool pickup magnet, and I think it's usually anywhere from 8 to 10 pound magnet that telescopes out. If you have a slingshot with a pinky hole, if you make one, the hole has to be the same size as your shaft or a little bit so it can fit in there nice and snug and what this is going to do a multiple of things one thing it's going to give you this little nub so if you don't want, instead of putting your finger in there and this is a four member MJ shows a tutorial on it on what he did and what his feelings on that they'll have you a little rest for your pinky when you pull back to keep things nice and loose because you don't have to grip hard on your your slingshot but on this end what it's going to do is force your wrist to be straight when it's like this is when you're aiming out it's too far and it's actually stopping you from moving your hand too much further once it stops I mean I'm sure if you push hard you can do it but that's that and It'll pop up if you're too tilted down if you're not. So you get the feeling. <coughs> so make your shot. And there you go, and it'll slide back up. If you... There you go. And what I like about this, I could actually grab my ammo right now. If you're trying to grab my ammo, pop it in there shot do it again I really like this so if you find a way to try this out yeah, it's pretty neat so that's that um, I'm looking at my iPad and not the camera I'm noticing that but anyway so if you're new or you're having trouble or if you just if you if you've been doing this for a while and you just want to do some drills or routines or something just to see if you're still up to par or see how you're actually shooting give it a try and after that just have fun thank you for your time peace